Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to save your color corrections or LUT as your color presets in your Final Cut Pro. So before the start of today's tutorial, please remember to subscribe and like this video and let's get started. First of all, you can see that this is a clip that is already color corrected sort of and it's already added with a custom LUT. If you want this LUT pack, you can go to another video of mine, you can check out the video and download the LUT pack, it's for free. There are two videos actually and this one is from a S-Lock video camera and you know, there are a few video clips that are already saved in the same lighting environment and with the same camera. So if you want to have this preset, you know, recorded and next time if you have new projects with the, uh, you know, exact same camera and similar lighting environment, you might want to use this color preset to save your time to do all the color adjustments and adding in the color lots, especially if you have a huge project to do. So basically what you need to do is you can select the clip and go to the color correction tab over here and go to the bottom of it. You can see that there is a save effects preset and just hit this button and as you can see that there are categories over here and then you can always add a new category say S lock 3 room and create a new preset category and this is the effect category and save the name as say room one and you can say select the attributes you want to have for example this is just a simple custom lot plus the color curve kind of effect so once you save this one will be automatically appearing in the effects tab you can always just go maybe to this part and find it and yep maybe let's try it out by deleting all the effects like this and just drag this preset over here and as you can see automatically it's already colored with the color correction and the lot you want to have and there is another amazing thing that you can do with this preset you can always you know have a little bit of creativity with it so maybe at the start of the video you want to create a keyframe and bring down the mix to zero and maybe just a few frames later is pump up to the 0.66 for the mix so if you want to make this one a little bit faster you can always track the keyframes to be much closer to one another Yep, that's the effect you want to have. You can save this gradual transition as well. So as usual, just go to the colors tab and save the effects. And you know, now you see there's a keyframe value over here and you can always maintain the timing or stretch to fit. So for me, I'm just gonna hit maintain timing. So to have a very precise kind of effect, and maybe just say this to be room 2 and save this and let's delete all the effects for now and just drag room 2 over here and once you hit play you can see there's a gradual color change and it's done and this can be applied to all the clips that are shot in the same camera and in a similar you know color environment and if you're unsatisfied you can always change all your color curves and stuff like that and you know it's kind of easy and you can always right click show video animation and adjust the keyframes accordingly and that's all for today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed this and this video might help your video editing and that's all remember to subscribe and like this video thank you very much bye bye